Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 24. All right, uh the previous episode it was a really sh not shocking. I kind of expected something like this, you know, the backstory of Tenko or Shigaraki. And I expected something like this. I knew that it was going to be sad, but still, like you know, the amount I was properly unable to gauge it. This will kind of messed up in a different type of way. I thought it was going to be messed up in some other way. You know, I thought it was going to be something like he went to real hardships or something. He went through a lot of hardships, but in a really messed up way that I never even thought about. Uh, the messed up thing about this is that the people who made them go through their hardship was his own family, not his family, his dad. So the thing I thought that it was going to go, like, you know, like I thought it was going to be something like his family died and after that he had to face the hardships. I thought that it will be something like that. But no, this is even more messed up because the, like, the origin of his problems was his dad. It was his own family member. And that makes this even more messed up. So that's why I'm saying like I expected something sad, but not in this way. This is some messed up sad stuff, not only sad. So yeah, the real, what can I say, like, like sad thing and he never deserved this. He was just a child. The problem was with his dad and that's how, you know, his dad was unable to control himself. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. His dad was unable to control himself, his own problems, his own past experiences and his own insecurities or whatever you can call it that he uh you know, like that he what can i say that he showed that on his son and made his son suffer for it so yeah the problem most problematic character here was the dad and technically he was the one who messed everything up and yeah now everything is gone and i'm guessing after this all might uh not all might all for one comes takes him under his care and yeah then we know what happens let's see what this episode brings giganto makia is on the way and let's see what happens with redestro and all that other stuff so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 24 of my hero academia so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's a countdown three two one go Okay. Oh my god, like this. Well, yeah, what else could he even do? Like, his family's dead. Now what? Oh no. Like, like at least one person could go and tell him that what's wrong. Hey, there you go. Oh. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah that's what i said like instead of all for one if someone else reached out a hand to him everything would have changed oh boy I love the transition of my hero academy to suddenly my villain academy. <laughs> Why? Hmm. 
you know it would have been better i don't know i know like it's like a lot of more budget you know spent like it would have been taken a lot more budget if what i'm trying to say here is if it would have been great if they actually made a different opening for you know the whole my villain academia section as i said it would have taken a lot more budget you know like come making a complete new opening and stuff the song could be the same but you know the visuals and everything it would have been a lot like you know <laughs> so cooler <laughs> like suddenly like you know from my hero academia to my villain academia anyways Hmm, let's see what happens. Oh, we're continuing the flashback. Oh, whoa, what? What the hell? That's extra, what the hell? Oh god. Okay. Ah. Wow. Well, here we go. That's why he became a villain. Oh boy. Was that his dad's hand? Okay, so here we start. He starts walking the path of a villain from here. Oh, he has his hands. Next to his skin. Uh, okay, yeah. You know what? If you see something like this in the middle of the street, you should run. But these people are too drunk to understand that, so... Hands of his family. His subconscious is saving his quirk. Huh. Wow. Well, that's what all for one did. He took the negative emotions and nurtured them within him. Like everyone has negative emotions in them, but we suppress them, but he nurtured them. Oh. Huh. Wow, great. And that's when his name changed. Origin. My God. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What's? Oh, really? 
Ok. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Damn. Well, your stress won't be anything now. Won't work. Ha! Well, there you go. Oh, you come to my kid. It's on the way. Well, that's it for the uh, Metal Liberation Army. You know, that's the end. Ha! My god, he's limping. He's just big. <laughs> well, the hell? <laughs> oh, why? Oh. Yeah, then what is that? <laughs> Stress is receding. <laughs> wow, so the people beside him. Claustro. Oh my god, he... yeah... Huh. Whoop! <laughs> oh my god... Yeah... <laughs> Who? Who's John? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's yeah, that's what they're doing to, to uh, release its full power or whatever. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like this is Gigantomachia. Like, it's not Dabi. Oh my God, he's making a mistake. Just. Yo! Oh my god. Like, Registry looks huge now. But I'm guessing Gingandomekia is even huger. Oh! Well, there goes your... My god. <laughs> it's like plus ultra. Okay. After suffering and waking. Oh wow, is he like going to change his mind now? Okay, he's, I think he's changing his mind now. Yeah. 
Damn. This lights. Okay. Well. Oh god. Yeah, it's over. Oh my god, you're gonna get stopped. He's like, oh my god, he's he's perfect for being my master. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, I given the market didn't even have to do anything. It just it just came here and stood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's impressed, I think. Okay. Damn. Cut them off. Oh. Yeah. My God. <laughs> yeah. I also forgot. True. <laughs> my god. Oh, what the? Yeah. Oh! Oh, wait, what? Whoop. Yeah. Mm. One who should. Yeah, okay, he changed his mind, I think. Yeah, he's thinking that he's. He's worthy. Oh boy. Okay, so they kind of start working together after that. All right. It makes sense. <laughs> He's like all for one. Yeah, there you go. He's impressed. <laughs> Will he be like, treat us sushi and I'll forgive you or something? <laughs> That'll be funny. Oh my god, is it really? Oh. Turn the free late after. Twenty member. Uh... Huh. Oh, my God. 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Yeah, this was going to happen. Like, oh boy. It re oh my god, he really told him that I'll forgive if you treat us sushi. <laughs> what? I I'm sure he's she's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, that's his quirk, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so they're now working together. Great. <laughs> Video editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is this? Secret hideout? Whoa! My god! Great, now they're all working together. Yo, look at Shigaraki! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shigaraki Tomura. Damn, he has like a a special made couch for him. <laughs> and his dress and everything. <laughs> Grand Commander. My god. Whoa. Okay, what's the name? Oh, Spinner. Okay. Paranormal Liberation Front. Allowing the meta framework to intervene more broadly. And people. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My God. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oof, God, the change. Uh. Wow, he became. Oh. <laughs> it's like a uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh uh, my god. Okay, well... Yeah, this is <laughs> concerning. You know, like, I see... Like, I'm looking at... You know, the heroes. Deku's team. And I'm looking at... Shigaraki's team. And you know what I feel? 
I feel that Shigaraki's team can probably one shot them. I don't know. This is like some immense. My god, like immense power up. Like, what the hell was this? <laughs> like, the power ups, like, they're like an insane amount. Like, Shigaraki was only able to, like, you know, touch one thing at it, it, it decayed. But now he can touch one thing and whatever is touching that, it, it, it's everything's getting decayed now. Like, that's like some insane level power boost. Twice, he can like make thousands of clones, millions of clones, and the clones can obviously take some other, like, you know, like form as well. And uh, Toga, she can not only now change into someone else, but also use someone else's power. Like, what? Like how? How even? Like you know, like we saw that the whole fast first portion of this uh, season was like we were seeing what, like you know, the individuals, uh, like you know, the different characters were, you know, the new characters that were introduced in the tournament thing that happened, and we saw all of that. We then we saw like you know them doing the internship uh, under Endeavor, all that stuff, and. Deku is still trying to control his new quirks, you know, quirks, the multiple quirks. Like, they had a little bit of a power boost, but no, it's nowhere near the power boost that the villains got. Like, what? Oh my god. Now, like, it's, it's not only the League of Villains, there's like Gigantomachia with them, there's um, Redestro and his army with them, like thousands of other people, and how even i i don't know like this is some <laughs> insane power boost that the villains suddenly got and shigarak is like the last boss now like, you know we just really were listening to him okay well yeah this is this is concerning so yeah, I think if if like if if they start fighting now, the heroes and the villains, the heroes will lose completely and utterly, devastatingly. They'll lose. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this episode mm, started with us seeing another flashback of Shigaraki's, and as I said before, uh, they took what do you call it advantage in a way. You know, all for one of Shigaraki and gave him his support when no one was there for him. And yeah, that's all, like, you know, that is only what it was needed for him. Like, it's technically not that simple in a way. Like, obviously, I'm sure that uh, Shigaraki feels indebted to all for one. Uh, you know, I'm sure that is a thing. But not only that, as I said, what he did was like, like little children are very, uh, you know, like what do you call it? They can be changed. Like they can change a lot. They're very, imp what do you call that word? Impressionable. Yeah, I think. And they look at their surroundings. They see what the adults are doing. If they're in a good environment, they become good people. If they're in a messed up situation, messed up environment. Yeah, they kind of become someone like that. They, they, you know that the characters start kind of mimics other people that's how they grow up looking at their surroundings he was a child then i think five years i think that was and he had an already messed up situation in his family his father abused him just because of his own problems and that in itself like kind of made him not trust adults and all that stuff and that was in itself a very big stress on him in his you know like in such a young age no one helped him and that in his tape started nurturing hate in him and when all for one found him no one helped him as i said if some hero found him at that moment for example let's say if all might found him you no know, like he would have probably taken him to i don't know some place some kind of good place and he would have like been brought up in that normal environment and he would have probably become a hero later on but since it was not all might but all for one 
yeah this is what happens he brings him and he starts nurturing nurturing that hate within shigaraki so <clears throat> as i said there's always two parts of our own personality whatever you can call it two parts of our soul not soul but of ourselves a, a evil part you can call it and the good part not evil evil is a really strong word um a bad part and a good part a part which contains negative emotions hate envy jealousy stuff like that and another portion which has positive emotion happiness uh, kindness you know humility all these th things so how you nurture a person kind of you know like if, if someone teaches you good stuff they, they tell you to be kind from when you are a child the negative part starts decreasing and the positive part starts increasing and it is magnified uh, and you know like this is what it's about so here what happens tenko he had his negative part already you know like agitated and all might started watering that you know? <laughs> like a little seed he started watering it taking care of it and that negative emotion starts and started increasing more and more and more and yeah he became like this like you can't blame him for this like well, how could you no one can blame no one for this you can probably blame the dad and and i even can blame all for uh, all for one for this you know why because he is supposed to be a evil character he's supposed to do this so why would i how could i even blame him you know this is what he's supposed to do he's a villain <laughs> He did what he was supposed to do, like, you know, poisoning young children's minds. That was, that's what he did. And yeah, I guess he was successful in it. He took advantage of Tenko. And uh, I'm sure, like, you know, like, um, obviously the biggest reason for taking him under his wing was because he was Nana's grand, grandson, yeah, grandson. And you remember the previous, uh, in, in one of the seasons when All Might and also One fought, what he said, he said that, I took him under me and I nurtured him to become this big villain because I wanted to see your face when you realize that this is Nana's grandson. I wanted to see the despair. That's, that's what it boils down to it, you know. Like, I doubt he just, like, you know, like, Shigaraki, he took an active interest in Shigaraki just for some other reason. No, he took an active interest in him because he was Nana's grandson. Because he just wanted to mess with All Might. That's what he wanted to do. So, yeah, like he took him under his wing, made him the person he is now, Shigaraki. And yeah, he's now the like the top villain. God. Okay, we could see him like you know at the, the beginning, even after All Might took him in. And he hesitated to use his powers on those, you know, those, those, those hooligans on the street. Uh, so, and that's when we see All Might actually telling him, you know, kind of saying that, don't you worry, like, you know, you, you would want to, you know, like, why are you so suffering? Your suffering is because you wanted to do something else. You wanted to kill them. You wanted to throw that hate towards those guys who messed with you and he started like you know like saying these type of things and that's how he you know changed and after that you know once he took that step of actively killing someone he started going down that path and one thing that he says here uh, you know shigaraki says that i like, you know uh i where is it Uh, I can't find it. Uh, you know the the place where he says that uh, I killed my parents, my family. It was not uh, something that I did unconsciously. I I wanted the destruction. I don't know. I feel like that's not completely true. You know, like I'm sure that he he made like obviously the first the killing the dog was a big mistake. He did not even realize that, and then you know. He, he was scared of it. He thought that some villain has attacked or something. 
and when the sister saw him and started running away he, because he himself was scared he flung and onto her and she started crumbling and that's when he she he, re he realized that it's actually me who's doing this and yeah he started falling down into despair and as soon as the despair kicked in he was like yeah like enough is enough i don't care like let them all die like he started heading into that direction his mentality he went there and he then he actively like you know held his mom and his mom died and then everyone died and then the dad so yeah that's how it escalated it was not that he wanted the destruction you know it was just that him realizing that he's the reason for the destruction probably made something snap in him you know it just snapped and he he knew that he could not go back so he just dove right into it you know he, he embraced the negative feelings that's what happened it is it's not technically that he wanted the destruction it's just that the circumstances the situation made him snap that's just it anyways okay that and so that's why he like you know he starts keeps kept those hands within you know those hands in his face and everything as uh alpha one said that these are for you so that uh you do not forget the memories of the day of that momentous day so to keep reminding him okay that was like the flashback that was a great flashback and then we get to see the next section where <laughs> shigaraki just flexes his power <laughs> Rudestro brings out his big guns but unfortunately yeah nothing you know he, he uses stress 150 percent it's not effective at all <laughs> at shigaraki and yeah giganta makia comes in shigaraki starts fighting and <clears throat> redestro realizes that this guy who is so liberated like that is the main essence of our group liberation and now that I see him, I see like at the beginning, like, you know, he was like, ah, these kids, these, like, you know, these kids are just like, you know, brats. They're like doing this for some weird reason. Yeah, my reason is nobler than them. So, you know, like I should probably destroy these kids. He, he was, he was like that at the beginning. But now after seeing this, you know, after seeing how each and every character, you know, like they liberated, you know, like they got liberated for some, from something. Mm what's his name twice uh twice got liberated from his trauma you know uh, uh toga toga got liberated from her uh mask you know her constant uh like you know the mask of normalcy that he she used to wear she got liberated from that and that's how she unlocked his power same with twice twice got liberated from his uh, trauma uh, who else got a power chain shigaraki shigaraki got liberated from you know what can i say like not liberated in this sense but he started remembering his past and he got liberated from something that was suppressing him it's gone now you know the suppression is gone he's he's fully awakened now so seeing all of these like you know like it's really interesting if you like you actually look into this it like this you know the whole liberation thing that he talked about like all the characters who got a power up here somehow got liberated somehow as i said the mask of normalcy for toga uh, the trauma for twice and the suppression that he had you know uh, shigaraki got liberated from that and now they're like some <laughs> awakened beasts <laughs> god oh boy and yeah he, he saw that and then he like you know he changed his mind he now he's like yeah the, this is the true uh, face of liberation and he's perfect for us that's why in the end he said that you know i give up no more deaths i don't want it anymore if you want to kill me you can kill me just yeah just join us let's let's get together and <laughs> rule the world or something like this oh my god and i, I love the, the fact that <laughs> shigaraki forgave him just for a like you know a, a sushi platter <laughs> i'm sure that's not it he he forgave him for like you know uh, because he had the uh, economic backup you know he was he was rich and his group he has a lot of like you know mm, economic power and like you know the league of villains could do a, a lot of things with money you know? so 
yeah that's why i forgive him but you know the way he actually said that he's like um he, first he remembered that <laughs> you know like the his the other villains said that yeah it would have been great if you could go for some sushi and <laughs> he's like you're rich aren't you <laughs> treat us a plate of sushi and yeah you've got a deal <laughs> Fantastic. That was just perfect. <laughs> My god. And obviously Giganto Makia completely changed his mind. He saw like you know all for one in Shigaraki. And yeah. Now they are working together, which is great, I guess, but not for the heroes, you know. Like I'm confused now, you know. <laughs> like like we are seeing everything from the villain's perspective. And I feel happy for Shigaraki and you know, like they got a new group and like, you know, so much things. And then I actually realized that this is not actually a story for the villains. This is actually a story for the heroes. So in a way, we're actually screwed. <laughs> weird, you know, like weird feeling. But I, I guess I'm happy for Shigaraki, you know, like that's just it. You know, and <laughs> I feel sorry for the <laughs> heroes. They need to pump like you know pump up their training uh, schedule they need to go through a lot of more rigorous training otherwise i don't see the heroes defeating this like look at it now like what like what is this like they have like they're, they're like now uh, some kind of like a uh, you know like 1000 i don't know how many people are even there but there's like thousands and thousands of people working under them they're like an actual group of villains now and an organized group and they have like these type of strong people like Shigaraki then them with their awakened quirks and their liberated quirks and Redestro Giganto Makia is in here like yeah like haha <laughs> I don't see the heroes defeating this unless and until they go through some immense you know power boost or something god yeah okay and now this is not only this is this is not only the end here like in the end what Shigaraki actually does is he contacts the doctor and he says that like you know like yeah Giganta Makai is listening to me uh, I need more power like he still needs more power like how how much else how <laughs> how more do you even need he he has so much now you know like he was just like a group of villains. They were just like a group of villains. Now they are awakened their quirks and everything. They have like Redestro backing them up. Some huge like you know company people, you know the rich people backing them up. And he's like the main leader of the group. And he's like, yeah, more power. The doctor is like, I'll give you power. Wow. So he's going to get even some more power boost. So yeah, Deku, you better start <laughs> mastering all your like you know other quirks as well all the other quirks and yeah otherwise i don't see this going ending well so yeah that was it boy i love the in the end i love that like you know shigaraki is like sitting on that couch with with that that coat like you know the that that type of coat like usually the leaders wear like you know like what, what was that yeah, it's like a black coat with a <laughs> like that's some you know like a yakuza boss, not yakuza boss, but some kind of gang leader, you know, couch and some gang leader coat, and yeah, he looks great in that. <laughs> but, boy, yeah, that was it. Let's see how this goes. How the heroes actually. You know, prepares for this because the fight is going to start here and I doubt it's going to start in this season the next season probably the huge battle will start between the metal liberate what, what did they name their group I forgot uh paranormal 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 liberation front okay so the huge battle is going to start probably in the next season the paranormal liberation front versus the heroes so yeah it won't happen in this season i thought it was going to happen this season but here we got the back you know background of everything yeah like this section the my villain academia section was fantastic i loved that section one of the best part of the season and uh, yeah as i said like you know i'm happy for shigaraki but the heroes are screwed so <laughs> i don't know what to feel yeah i'm happy for shigaraki like he suffered enough i guess 
So I, I guess he, he deserves this <laughs> little happiness. <laughs> my God. So yeah, that was it. That was it, guys. That was my reaction to episode number um, 24 of My Hero Academia season 5. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah okay so one thing uh, i'm trying to check out how many oh it has 25 episodes so the next episode is the last one okay so yeah so yeah guys that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with the final episode of my hero academia season 5 so until then goodbye and have a nice day